everyone, welcome back to Block Breaking SMP. I'm the Little Red, and we are in episode two now. In our last episode, we made our lovely starter home area. We were able to locate where we want to be and set up some crop fields, find some bees, start them producing some honey for us so we could make our roof out of honey blocks and yellow concrete. But we made our starter base, found this spot, and claimed it as our own, and here we are in it. We also were able to make this lovely little path and dock system, and uh, we, we even got pranked. We had our friend Honey, who's new to season two, come by and prank us with uh, the little duck da goose, which uh, it was right where my house was. So uh, since we have to, you know, build a house, I, I moved the ducks so that they could stay in our area. I love having the ducks here. I think it just makes it super cute, but we were able to make all of this in last episode. And today I, I need to do a bit more uh, gearing up because unenchanted iron armor will not cut it if I want to stay alive. So. We are going to be working on getting geared up, getting diamond armor, going mining, and I also want to turn our bee farms automatic and be able to start producing honeycomb on a much larger scale. So that is the plan for today's episode. If you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to leave a like and we are going to just get started working on getting geared up. Oh, I, okay, one, I can make one. Cool, that's cool. All right, one pickaxe it is. Thought I had more than this, but I do not. So uh, I guess we're also gonna look for iron because apparently I'm poorer than I thought I was. All right, so I need some more food. So we've got raw cod, cooked cod, cooked salmon. Okay, we're gonna take these guys as our backup food supply. I will bring a bed, we're gonna grab a bucket. Call this good. And down, down, down to the depths of the world. Mm. Oh, hello. Who? Oh, hi, honey. <laughs> hello. You just turned. Oh, you're wearing a honey block. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So that's uh, it's very fitting. Since our friend Honey stopped by, we got to chatting. We talked about how on earth she got her diamond armor and tools so quickly. And she said that they had gotten villagers and if I'd like, and if mining isn't as successful for me, that I could stop by and she would help me get geared up as well. She also showed me that she was able to find a Swift Sneak 3 when she went to the ancient city with T to stock their skulk shop. You got copper, right? I have a little bit, yeah. I'm like finding certain yeah, things. Yeah, have you noticed it. anything? Did you, did you reset I did it? Not, I did not, <gasps> I did not. Honey. <laughs> I'm not who did, Who's though. resetting my they're, copper? They're not here, though. Hmm. But you are. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they, <laughs> they've gone on holiday. Oh, that little palm. My gosh. After we talked some more, Honey handed me some potatoes for food and headed back up to the surface. After Honey left, I then continued on with my mission to find a lot more iron to make more tools, get some more coal for fuel, grab some gold, some redstone, lapis of course, and fight off a few mobs trying to murder me. And then I found some copper, I grabbed some crystals from a geode, and then finally I made my way down to diamond level to start strip mining for diamonds. I have been mining for quite a while and uh, I found some amethyst, some gold, some copper, grabbed some calcite, got some lapis, amethyst shards, and uh, redstone, but uh, we haven't found diamonds yet. And since uh, we had been talking with Honey, who came down to visit us before we ventured further, Honey mentioned that she and T and King have a villager trading hall and frankly uh it, it sounds way better so we're just gonna work our way back up to the top ah fresh air again well it wasn't as successful as i would have hoped but i will call a lot of these ore blocks that we grabbed pretty successful and some slime we're gonna drop this stuff back off at home and then we're gonna go say hi to honey and uh get some diamonds through the villagers oh excuse me ducks there's through oh 
And uh, where's my sign? Bam. We're gonna make Honey a gift as well. All right, guys, we just made our first anvil, which is gonna be great. I want to rename one of these spyglasses to be a gift for Honey. There we go. We have a little spyglass of friendship. Since in last episode, Honey gave me a diamond of friendship. So we're gonna return the favor. Now I got my spyglass of friendship to give to Honey and she knows that I'm on my way so I'm just gonna boat over there to go trade with their villagers. So we will be there in one moment. And we can already see a lot is happening. We have Rockling's base. He made a little rock which is uh, very, very clever and also very like him. We've got another base popping up over here and just a lot more life. Oh wow. <gasps> Yeah, a lot more life is coming to this area, which I kind of like us being at spawn because we end up seeing so much more life happening so much closer to everything. So we are just going to go boat through here, pick up our chest boat and meet back over by their house. And we already have the shopping district getting some shops built up. We've got, let's see here, let me move my shield. We have got, ooh, this the skulk sensors oh i'm going to be planning to build out of these veins and these skulk later in the season so i'm super excited to uh get to use <gasps> okay yeah i'm not surprised they uh <laughs> they put that uh shrieker just out there okay we've got the nard one with the emerald and iron shop Four blocks for one diamond. Oh, people are ooh, 16 blocks for one diamond. <gasps> ooh, that's actually pretty good. I might use that. Okay. <gasps> What's this one? <gasps> Lefties left for bread. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I like it. Okay, so a diamond for a clump. Okay, good to know. Uh, just some water. Okay. Oh, and uh, this poor soul. All right. But I'm getting distracted. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting distracted, so I'm gonna meet you guys over there. All right, and we're getting closer to T's base, and I think I see Honey <laughs> recording something right there. All right, let's go say hi. Well, hello. Hello. I totally didn't know you were coming here. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely didn't ask you in chat if that was cool. Yeah, definitely not. Spontaneous no, visits. No, I mean, like, <laughs> I came back and then got this stuff in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> and here's some books, because you're going to need them and emeralds. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. Oh, this makes it so much easier for me. Thank you for helping well, me. I'll show you where the villagers are. Here they are. Oh, oh well, look but at them this all. Is, this is how you get in down the road. Oh, down here. oh okay. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. It's so they Good can't get know. out. Yeah, totally. And you okay. can get fortune. <gasps> Amazing. And okay, good to know. Mending, oh, I'm gonna spring. sleep quickly. They get a little bit shovey, by the way. You know, I've I've noticed that they uh they don't have a problem invading personal space, at all. I think it's because they're lonely and they're shoved in a whole day and they have uh, no other interaction. Yeah, they're not a really talkative bunch, so we're this, probably this the only people that talk to. This guy's the mending guy, by the way. The one that I'm talking like that one. Okay, okay. Mending. Uh, I need a lot of you. <laughs> I'm gonna chop down a lot of trees today. <laughs> well, thank you for showing me uh, how to get into and use the villagers and letting me know that these trees are choppable. Oh, hi, dude. I'm not gonna touch you, don't worry. Uh, I appreciate it. And as a token of uh, my appreciation, I have a gift for you. You may already you, have one of these, but this is special, you, okay? You, you don't need to do anything. <gasps> no, yeah, no, I do it out I of have kindness to. of my heart. I must. You ready? Yep. Ta da! And the name? That little spyglass. Oh, of friendship! Yeah! Well, thank you for the spyglass. You didn't need to. You're welcome. I thought it would be a kind of a, a fun little thing. Now, now have a look at it. 
Ooh, it's pink. Very fun. Very fitting. Well, that was very nice of Honey to give us some armor right away, some emeralds, and even some books to be able to level things up for ourselves a lot quicker. We're going to keep on uh, chopping down these trees and replanting them so that we can get lots of sticks to trade. As we were working on our villager grind, we got a visit from Void, and they just stopped by to say hello, we chatted for a bit, and then I asked if he wanted to walk over to my base area with me, and as we were walking back, we met up with Honey and King for a little bit, we chatted for a while, and then I said goodbye to them and continued on my way back to my base area. Alrighty everyone, I have been working on getting those books onto my gear. So now we have Unbreaking Fortune Mending Pickaxe, Mending Unbreaking Efficiency, I want to add Silk Touch to this one. We've got Silk Touch, Efficiency 5, and Mending on this one, and I added Infinity to my bow. Now I do have a few more books to add. I want to add Efficiency to this pickaxe right here. And then Silk Touch I want to add to this book right here. But according to the anvil, I need a lot more levels than I have, as in 11 and 12, which uh, I, I have one, so I do not have the ability to do this currently. As we were running around our base area, we got a visit from Time, who stopped by to give us some gifts, say hello, and then we chatted about his plans for the season which he is going to be building a castle and living as a hobbit elf, a hob elf. After we chatted for a while, time then left to go work on his base some more. Well, that was super nice of time to stop by, hang out and chat, and even give us a few different gifts. Thanks so much time for the gifts. I'm excited to use them. It's gonna be great. But guys, the next phase of today's episode is going to be starting to work on collecting resources for making our automatic bee farm so that we can get closer to having our honeycomb and honey block and candle shop on the server. So I'm going to go spend some time collecting resources to make that happen, and I'll see you guys after. <laughs> Well everyone, you can see from the time lapse that we went through quite a few iterations of the auto bee farm to make sure that I actually like how it turned out. Now that I am uh, a little tired of redstone and messing with bees, I kind of want to go mining and see what things we can find with our fortune pickaxe. So let's go on an adventure, shall we? And because we are caving instead of strip mining, we ended up finding a lot more diamonds right away. And now that we have our fortune three pickaxe, this was perfect because even if I'm finding diamonds, I'm able to get a whole lot more diamonds for my money. We messed with some mobs, yeeted them into the lava, pillared up to a mine shaft we saw up above, and then fought off some spiders successfully clipped some of their spider webs for string for candles, and then we noticed. Oh, no way. Stone? Oh, well, I can't mine these now. Oh my goodness. Oh, blueberries finally. Ooh, wow, that's so great. Oh, might be nice for a prank. 
Yeah, we'll take it. Wow, stone diamond. That is so cool, guys. A name tag. That's awesome. Full fly. <gasps> no way. Are you serious? Okay, I need to get silk touch, guys. I think we literally need to go back up to the surface. Get silk touch. <gasps> I found... We found three. What? I've never been... What? These are so rare, aren't they? Oh! <gasps> No. What? 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 We, what? We found five. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we're getting so touch. <laughs> what on earth? This is nuts. No way. Are you serious? And we find a spawner? I mean, I'll take it, even though you're a zombie one. Oh, potato, nice. This feels a little crazy, guys. We find five stone diamonds and a spawner next. Oh, and there's my string and a saddle <gasps> and a golden apple. Okay, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. There is too much goodness. What? Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Who shadows? Oh my gosh. Uh, anyone else feel like we've been very lucky today? Me too. Literally, spawner, golden apple, two saddles. I got two name tags. Wow. I just need to not die. That's, that's the other important part. I still can't believe this. Literally four there. This is the fifth one. We're just gonna explore a tiny, oh, okay. Tiny bit more. Ooh, another chest. Beautiful. We're just gonna see what's in this chest. Luck of the sea. Okay. Well, 15 more torches. Okay. Is this a sign we keep going? Yeah? <laughs> okay, we've got another chest. The andesite. Oh, another name tag. Yes. Alright, guys. We are going to head back home and we are going to work on getting our silk touch pickaxe up and running so that we can come in here and grab those stone ore and drop off all of this stuff that we found. I'm kind of excited to try. Oh, <gasps> coal, no way. Isn't coal ore even more rare? Whoa, that's so cool. I've never actually seen this. Comment down below, have you guys seen Deep Slate Coal? Because I definitely have never seen it, but it looks so cool. Okay, so this isn't too far from where we started. This is so nice. We made it to the surface. We're alive, guys. We're alive. We can drop off our diamonds and all the little riches that we got, including our golden apple. We can put silk touch on our pickaxe and we'll be good to go. Oh, it was 11. <gasps> Are you ready to go grab those oars? We're up, we're safe, we're good. Okay. We're on silk touch. Silk touch, okay. Oh, look at it. Okay, and then deep slate coal. Man, that's so good. And back up the stairs we go with our stone diamond and deep slate coal ore. We put our special ores, deep slate coal ore, and five diamond ore in stone. Wow, that's so great. Now that we have placed our stone diamond ore and our deep slate coal in our special chest, I think that just about wraps up today's episode. We did a lot today. We were able to go mining and uh, ended up just going and seeing Honey, and she was able to help us get and she was able to help us get all of our diamond gear and some diamond tools, and we traded with their villagers to get some extra books to put on our tools. And going over this way, we also created our automatic bee farm so that we can harvest some honeycomb, and let me close the door quick, we decorated it and I think it turned out amazing. We've got some bees out here that are creating the honey bottles for us so that we can get some actual honey blocks, as well as 
the bees on this side that are producing our honeycomb. I made a little fishing pond so that I could get some easy XP and some extra items as I'm AFKing kind of and getting more honeycomb. But I love this room so much and I thought we were very successful today. It was a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a like and please comment if you've ever seen deep slate coal ore before because I definitely haven't and I think it's super cool. I kind of want to just like never use it up, like almost preserve it and like give it a special little spot like keep it on display or something so let me know what we should do about that but i will see you guys next time hope you have a good day bye, -bye.